Okay, I mixed about 12 or 13 ounces of counterculture medium viscosity artist resin parts A and B equal exact amounts. And I've got an ounce or so here. These are milliliters and I'm not used to working in milliliters, but I love these plastic beakers. And I've got their armor white epoxy pigment paste. And I've never used this before, but I want to try to get some lacing. So I'm going to try a squirt of that and mix it up and see just how much it makes it white. And that might tell me whether I want to add more or not. Just add just a bit more. So if you hear some background noise, I've got my vents closed so they're not going into my house with the circulation. I've got my window opened, the fan going, and I had my respirator on. I took it off to just speak to you briefly. This is uh, about uh, three quarters of an ounce or so with counterculture jam and jungle glitter. About the same amount, maybe just a little bit more of the Valentine counterculture glitter. And another ounce probably, and that is the Saint Nick glitter, which has uh, the red and the green and little white snowflakes. Little tiny snowflakes. So I um, I have about the same amount of white, green, red, and the St. Nick. Uh, probably less of the green than anything else, but about the same on all the other colors. I also use masking tape, duct tape, just to get out any last little dust or glitter or hair or anything like that because I'm going to be having some parts that will be clear. So you're trying to get as clean of a resin mold as you can. Okay? So, and again that was Counterculture's Armor Art Epoxy Pigment. So the rest I'm going to put my mask back on because I'm using uh, heat and I just like to play it safe so you can watch the rest of it.
Okay. So, these have sat overnight. They were so full of resin. I kept sloshing it around and trying to move it to get it uh, so that it would be in the resin in the mold and not all over on top. So I did not get lacing, but again, um, I love the coasters and it has a smoky kind of look in it down here. Love all the sparkle and the Christmas feeling. So that's really, really cool. They just pop right out. Alright, so here they are. They're really cool and lovely. And if you notice, again, like I said, they're shiny on the top. But on the back side they're matte because the silicone mold is not shiny inside the mold so then it's going to leave a matte finish so it's reversible you can really use either side it's kind of cool looking either way you go so i have um this the gold pen and i have my chrome uh silver liquid chrome that I love and so just curious which would you vote for silver or gold not I'm not going to paint the edges I like I like for you to kind of see through on these because they do have glitter and um, the little confetti pieces that are snowflakes and all but I'd like to just you know, do the edges like I did on the last set that were uh, rose gold. So I'm thinking silver. I'm just thinking that's what I think will look better with it. Or gold. So give me your thoughts on that. I am really, really pleased. These are really cute, adorable, very festive. So we will see. Stay tuned and thank you so much for watching my video. Please check out the links and I'll provide as many links as I can to the products I use and uh, the different Facebook groups. And I will be making a set of these coasters live in Countercultures group. Uh, on December 14th so stay tuned for that and I'll post a link for their their uh, Facebook group and we'll do something live for you there so stay tuned I can't wait I'm also going to uh, do a little holiday sale of my art and resin pieces and I will be posting a preview video in the next day or so and have that probably this weekend either saturday or sunday so stay tuned for that i'll see you next time bye bye